Another day, another story. The four reasons why bad people win the game of life. Here's why it may seem the bad guys have taken over the world. 1. Good people are not necessarily ethical people. Good is a loaded and a binary word. It is also society's definition of what is acceptable and what is not. Ethics is different. It is that quiet inner voice that whispers to you even when no one's watching. It's the moral compass that ensures your life car doesn't crash. Now you can see the mistake you make as a good person. You get sidetracked into doing the socially acceptable thing. Your choices become limited and you probably feel a little resentful about fitting in the box. Be wary my friend, good, pulls you into the danger zone of becoming inflexible. You don't know the difference between breaking your internal code, built on ethical principles, versus bending rules that have been imposed on you by systems and institutions. Any guesses why you find it difficult to win at the game of life? 2. Good people are armchair critics. They talk about what's wrong with the world. The global energy crisis, the political factions in their little town or Meghan Markle's royal escapades. Nothing escapes their notice. When things don't go their way they whine about how the world is unkind to good people. Sound familiar? That's armchair criticism. What about you getting off your ass and actually doing something to make the world better? All criticism and no work probably deal Jack and Jane their losing hand. 3. Bad people are bad for a reason. Let's not take this away from the bad fellas. Bad people show their nasty side because they have a goal in mind. When the bad ones focus on a goal and act out, the universe responds. By giving them what they want. 4. There are more good than bad people in the world. The reason you don't see the good is because it is passive. Good people want to make no difference whatsoever to the world. The bad ones are different. They act and so they make an impact, albeit of the bad kind. Action wins over being passive. The bad guy wins more often. There is good news yet for the cynic in all of us. The good news is this. The universe is neutral. It's like the mirror in Harry Potter, only reflecting your deepest desires. This means karma catches up with the bad guys sooner than later. The bad they've been throwing around reflects at them and leads to their ultimate downfall. Bad people cannot sustain their ways forever. What does this mean for you, the good person? Nothing. The universe only waits for you to act. Occasionally though, along comes a person who is ethical, non-judgmental yet wants to make a difference. She is who goes down in history for changing the world with her actions. History is full of examples of exemplary people who've made the world better with their goodness. Question is will you merely talk the talk or act the act that can make you legend? Thanks for watching.